around one to three years old, your child will enter the Montessori sensitive period for small objects. In this video, I'll be talking about what that is, tips for navigating it, and even some activities to do with your child. Part of a larger series all about Montessori sensitive periods, so definitely go back, check those out. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. During the small object sensitive period, it is exactly what it sounds like, and do not be surprised if your child is more interested in the grains of sand at the beach versus the whole ocean. This is when you could take them to the most beautiful park in the world and they will be staring at the ants crawling by. The key here is really making sure you don't interrupt them. <laughs> even though it's going to feel like you guys are living in two totally different worlds. And it may even feel a little hard to bond with your child sometimes during this sensitive period. This is where when I would play with kinetic sand with my daughter, I would be using it to make some big sand castle and instead she's just going like this with the sand between her fingers. And that's okay. That's where she's at. Our children notice the tiniest crumb on the floor or the smallest detail while we maybe are getting caught up in the big picture. So this sensitive period in my opinion is really great one for us adults in teaching us mindfulness and teaching us how to pause and teaching us to see the world through our child's eyes. It is a unique period in that it's really a culmination and integration of previous sensitive periods. So we're finding those fine motor skills with the pincer grass or picking up other small details. And it's also a refinement of the order sensitive period that we talked about. As they're diving deeper into their understanding of how things work or small details that you and I tend to overlook. Also, just as a note for parents, don't be surprised if your kid starts to put things back into their mouth all the time. So mouthing objects is something that we typically see with young infants and then it kind of goes away but it can come back between one and three years old because mouthing stuff is a huge sensory input for kids. It's a huge way they make sense of the world. But during this sensitive period, small objects are probably gonna end up in their mouth again. If you notice your child having a regression, if you will, for putting stuff in their mouth, I would say just make sure that you're setting up activities that use items that you are comfortable with them putting in their mouth. So edible items, I have an entire video on activities you can do using edible items. During this sensitive period, you'll also want to keep around child-sized tools to really support them in reaching their full potential of this period. So child-sized cutlery, child-sized tools for collecting all of these tiny little treasures they're finding, like jars or bags. And if your child had already been using child-sized cutlery, don't be surprised if they become more interested in even smaller objects to feed themselves with. So for instance, my daughter always used this spoon from our Love Every Meal Kit set, but then all of a sudden, that wasn't good enough for her when eating blueberries. Instead, she wanted a literal teaspoon because she really enjoyed getting the small blueberry into the small teaspoon, refining that fine motor skill, seeing how many could fit in there, it became like a whole nother level to what she had already mastered. So again, they're going to kind of just do some odd things, seemingly odd things to us during this stage. And it's really one of the easiest and more awe-inspiring sensitive periods in my opinion. So just take the world in through their eyes. Don't try to force the adult view onto them, follow their lead see how you can support them through this. Make sure to hit that notification and subscribe button because in my next video, I will be talking about the Montessori sensitive period for refinement of the senses, which starts around two years old and lasts until six years old. You won't want to miss it. In the meantime, feel free to check out those past Montessori sensitive periods videos or how we realistically Montessori at home. As always, my name is Rachel. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram at the Millennial. Have a good one.